Welcome back. Uh, continuing with differentiation. You got to differentiate y is equal to 2x times cot x. Now this is the product of two functions. This is one function, 2x, and this is the other function. So if you use the product rule. So this is the product rule. The product rule says if you've got two functions, f dot g, differentiate the first, leave the second function as it is. That is f dash dot or times g plus differentiate the second function and leave the first function. That is same as if y is equal to u times v, then dy by dx is u times dv by dx. That is differentiate the second plus uh, you write the second and differentiate the first. So you, uh, you can do this in any order. Okay? So you can differentiate the first, leave the second as it is differentiate the second and uh, leave the first as it is. So I'm going to use the chain rule. So I can say dy by dx. Okay, so let me write the chain rule. Okay, so using the operator. So you can say d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of, so let me use in the traditional way, 2x times cortex. Now, d by dx of y means that is dy by dx. Now, I'm going to use the chain rule. So, this is d by dx of 2x. It's always good to write like this, times cortex. It may take a while, but it's always safe. And then, d by dx of cortex times 2x. So differentiate the first, leave the second as it is. Plus differentiate the second, leave the first as it is. Therefore, or therefore, therefore, therefore should be writing like this. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to differentiation of 2x is 2 times cortex. Just like that. Plus the differentiation of cortex is minus cosec squared x. Okay, so that is minus cosec squared x times 2x. So let me write the answer. So dy by dx. I want you to show. I want to show you again in this video how to check your answer. So this is 2 cot x minus 2x times cosec squared x okay so let me delete this now i don't need this okay so i need more space now so i'm going to take a safe number which is defined for the given function so i'm presuming one uh, is defined at one is at radian of one this is defined okay so i'm going to say okay what is my gradient function or what is dy by dx when x is 1, that is, you have got a gradient of 1, because in trig, when you're differentiating uh, a calculator, you should always check it on, because uh, trig for, for differentiation or integration of trig functions, it's always in radians, not in degrees. So this is 1 radians. So I say this is 2 times cot 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 times cos 6 squared. 1. <clears throat> so now to use this on a calculator doesn't have cot, so you have to go 2 times 1 divided by 10. 1. Okay. Minus 2 times 1 divided by sine 1 squared. Okay. So this is my calculator. So I have to go menu, run, 2. It's always good for if you have a graphic calculator before doing this step, always check whether your degrees is in radians. So it's in it's for me it's in radians, so I can continue. So that is two bracket one divided by ten one minus two bracket one divided by sine one squared. Okay. I'll use one more bracket, hopefully. Yeah, minus 1.54. Now, to check this on a calculator, you go to option, 
then you go f4 and then you go d by dx of 2x times I'll put this in the bracket 1 divided by 10x okay and then I'm asking the calculator find me the differentiation or find the derivative function or derivative at 1 okay and then close the bracket so this and this are the same so our answer is right and you should be really happy so you can give yourself say three star <laughs> you should give yourself say five stars see you in the next video